Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tank here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if no playback devices are being shown on Windows 10. So if your computer is failing to detect playback devices, this tutorial will be for you. So we're actually going to start by displaying any hidden devices that are enabled, or I should say disabled, on your computer from being shown. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu, just left on the Start button one time. Type in CMD. Best match to come back with command prompt right above desktop app. You want to right click on it and left click on Ryan's administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now along the top bar of this command prompt window, you want to right click, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. Once you paste that in, it should have a blinking cursor underneath just to indicate that it has run successfully. Again, just copy it out of my description and then just go up to the top bar here, right click edit and then paste and now we're going to open up the star menu type in device manager best match should say device manager right above control panel left click on that one time and now you want to left click on the view tab and then left click on show hidden devices so now you should be able to view other hidden devices such as legacy audio drivers video codecs why not and then you'd also be able to uninstall devices as well so you went underneath something like, I would say, audio inputs and outputs. If there was anything in here, you could uninstall it if you didn't want to. So pretty straightforward. And if you wanted to update something, just right click on it and update driver. Again, you could always go through your online means as well of just writing down whatever your audio input is here and just looking it up and downloading the driver yourself. So pretty straightforward. And I do hope that that worked for you. And I would recommend restarting your computer. Now if it didn't, I would suggest then opening up the star menu and typing in services. Best match should say services right above desktop app. Just left click on that one time. And now you want to go down to get to Windows Audio. So I'm going to scroll down here. Right here, I'm going to double click on it. You want to make sure startup type is set to automatic. If it's not, so if it's disabled, you want to make sure you set it to automatic. And if service status is stopped, you want to make sure you start it. So start and then make sure it says running. Left click on apply and OK to save the change. Would recommend restarting your computer and hopefully that has resolved your issue. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.